Now, an area that the Bighorn Fire is active once again was thought to be under control. The National Forest Service says they're prepared to stop the fire from moving down towards Saddlebrook and Golder Ranch. And that's where Niner Sides' Brian Brennan joins us live. What's going on there, Brian? Valerie, officials say that the winds and the fires have been totally erratic. Let's take a look behind me. You can see at the top of that ridge the massive plume of smoke. We're told that dry vegetation on the top of the ridge is the cause for all that smoke you're seeing. As we pan over to the right, you can see where some of the fire has moved down to this side of the ridge, and that is part of the reason why this area is a concern once again. Just when people on Golder Ranch Drive thought it was safe to return home. I'm really surprised that it's on that ridge. I'm really, really surprised. I thought it was back on the east side of town again. Rose Fahey says they've already been through one go order, and now the ridge behind her home looks worse than ever before. And the go order came like that. There was no set. It was just go. So, and it was at night, and so my daughter was here pulling photo albums and grabbing stuff and evacuating my dad. The National Forest Service says part of the Bighorn Fire changed course overnight. It's now burning on Salmon Diego Ridge near the communities of Saddlebrook and East Golder Ranch. They say they are prepared to engage if it starts moving down. Well, see, it, it's down here right now, and see if it goes over this ridge and stays up, up on top, we're doing good. But if it comes down, and gets down in here, that's not good. Joy Nepper lives near Saddlebrook and says at night she can see the flames outside her bedroom window. Terrible, terrible if you wanna know the truth. I mean, it's scary. The people we talk to say they are praying for Summer Haven. My heart goes out to them, yeah. 15 years ago, they did the same thing and I, my heart goes out to them. And they say they are grateful to the firefighters. The firefighters have done such an amazing job with their air attack here. Um, saving our houses, I mean, I was frantic. The incident management team says crews are actually prepping fire lines that were originally made during the Aspen fire, and they're prepared to use those fire lines to protect the neighborhoods here. Reporting live, Brian Brennan, Kega 9 on your side.